against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God First things first, got the belt of truth Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray Against the evil one to put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, you got the bell to truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God Now in faith we can stand, stand, stand Against every evil plan, plan, plan Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong He has won Against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God So we actually have a children's story now And basically the children's story is We, the children's story really is for everyone today. So, I've, need, I've got a little model primed in Thomas. Um, but basically, um, it's been very interesting. I found a little um, bookmark that um, Sal had given us a long time ago about uh, the armour of God. And um, I've also been reading this amazing novel that reminds me of the, um, the, the armour that the Celtic blokes used to wear. And, uh, and just reading, this novel is not a Christian novel, but um, they talk a lot about their shields and their, and their breastplates and, their, and their, you know, those things that guard their feet and all that sort of stuff. And it just really made me uh, think, how wonderful that um, God also talks about this, that we're not, we're not given um, nothing to protect us in this journey. Um, and in Ephesians 6, um, I have to read a little bit of it because this was all I was going to do in the service and so I'm a bit thrown. Um, in our lives we'll all face battles, um, and, but most of the attacks on us are spiritual and it's very hard we know all about material stuff. It's easy to talk about material stuff that you hold and that you can touch. And, you know, it's, it's easy to use those words, but it's a bit harder to talk about spiritual stuff. Um, but that is the type of attacks that we are given. So in the Bible, in Ephesians 6, uh, it'll tell you um, Paul's comments about the armour that God gives us um, to um, fight this battle with. So, I'm going to give you a little bit of a demo and I'll tell about all these different pieces that actually go on us. So, And God asks us to put this armour on day by day, every day, in prayer. So, anyway, try to... Try and understand something. Okay, Thomas, can you come here? This will be interesting. Thomas has been primed. He's been told that he might have to help me. And Valerie's going to help a little bit too, I think. So, okay, this funny little thing is actually 
we read about the belt of truth, and in Ephesians 6, the order that it is written in is very important. Yeah. And this little thing, in the old days, they had a belt that they wrapped their tunic up underneath their armour, which made their armour fit and sit right. So the belt doesn't look very much, but it's actually... I don't know how to work this. So here is little Thomas. We'll put him over here. is also the way that we act in a right way. Um, it, 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 there's two, two kind of messages in the breastplate of righteousness. It is our breastplate and it's also our breastplate of right acting as, as, um, as Christians. So there is his breastplate protecting him there. The, um, yeah, the breastplate is also, it's talking about <coughs> our, the way that we hold loyally to God's law. Uh, so it's important. It's armour um, and it's also the way we act. Okay, so the next bit is <coughs> boots. Oh, no. And note, note the camouflage on them. <coughs> these are these are special boots. Thomas is very patient with us. <laughs> Woo he is. He's um. So there he has the, the, the boots are for the gospel of peace. 
And so the, um, <coughs> the boots give us um, ability to move forward, uh, to move forward with the gospel of peace. So the, the Christian has peace because of the gospel, but he is also able to move forward because he has the boots in readiness with the gospel of peace. And it also means that he also has a firm footing. So our, our boots are the gospel, but the gospel gives us a firm and, and steady footing because the main aim of a Christian is to remain standing in all the battles that we have, um, you'll be knocked about. And uh, so the gospel of peace is really important. So um, he's starting to be fitted there. He's built slipping a little bit. Um, the next piece is actually the shield. And um, when Paul was writing... Yeah, it might not be too tall. There's your shield with your hand on there. Do you hold it? Yeah, you can hold it like that. And that's his shield. When Paul was actually writing this, he was most likely shackled to a Roman soldier at the time because he was under arrest. And so he would have been looking at this armour and how wonderful to write this all uh, at that time. But the Roman soldiers had shields that actually were nearly full length. And um, we have kind of got a full length one, but we all know what a shield is for. And it, it is to deflect uh, the fiery darts. And the devil will send all sorts of fiery darts in different versions. Um, they, they are um, they are coming um, from, and the reason that we have a shield is that, yes, you hide behind it, but you're actually aware of where those fiery darts are coming from. And when we do fight uh, all those spiritual battles, oh wow, look good. <laughs> when we do fight those spiritual battles, uh, you don't you don't look inward. Your help doesn't come from you; it comes from God. So you're you're looking towards God, not inward, Godward. So with a shield, you're actually looking from where the, where the attacks are coming from. Selfishness, fear, doubt. The devil will use all sorts. Um, and spiritually, it's, it's, a, um, yeah, it's a battle. So that, that's why the um, shield is there. And only reliance on God is going to deflect uh, those nasty little arrows that the, that the devil will fight, will um, so I just put the cross on the shield there. Hope you can see that. <laughs> um, so this, we're getting closer along. This is the helmet. <laughs> put your helmet on. <laughs> what is? We <laughs> That's the only helmet I had. So there you go. The helmet is the helmet of salvation. And that's, a, that's an amazing thing. This is a gift. Our soul's rescue and deliverance is not a matter of uncertainty to the end, uncertainty. It is a protection from sin. It's a protection from sin's power. And it is um, certainty that we, of the hope that we will be out of sin's touch in the end. Um, so basically, it's um, you need to remember that that uh, we are protected um, against sin through salvation. And um, a soldier needs a sword. <laughs> and the, the sword is. Uh, you're being such a good dog, Thomas. He's standing firm. The sword is the sword of the Spirit. And, and there's a close connection between the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. Because the more you put the Word of God in your heart, the more the Holy Spirit can pull it out and use it. So it's, it's a wonderful way that... And so that is actually an offensive weapon. These, some of these other ones are defensive, but, but your sword is the is God's word 
with the Holy Spirit, and that's an amazing combination. So you've got to be able to um, let him work because you are using God's word. And, um, and over all of that, all of that, like I said in the beginning, all of those things are put on by prayer. And if you go out, I'll just take this, Thomas. If you go out like that, what's the matter? He, he's not protected. He's not protected. If if he if he has his has his shield of faith, and we take that off, that's a huge thing that you've taken off. That you that you don't remember that you are saved. That that, that the power of salvation is huge. If you take the sword out of his hand. If you don't know, if you don't try, you don't read, you don't put it in your heart, you do not have this. You, you, you can't, you, you can't, a soldier can't really fight very well without his sword. Um, and it, so it's a beautiful analogy of we are not, we are not let to be some poor, some poor tragic thing that he doesn't, he doesn't send us out unarmoured, yeah. but you have to put it on. Yeah. It's, your, it's your job to put it on. And uh, that's it. <laughs> we give a clap to Thomas for being so patient.